It's week three and we're continuing with our coil pots today. I am increasing the size of mine as I've got an idea of how I can make it look a little bit more like my design. I'm working on the layers and I've decided to keep some of them showing the coil and then smoothing out the rest. So I'm pretty happy with that, how that looks now. And then I've got some ideas about what to put on the top. I started with these leaf formations, which I tested out by sort of just balancing on the top, but I didn't really like it. So after I stuck the first one down, I decided to pull it off and go for a different idea of this one where I'm thinking sort of like tentacles coming out from the inside of the vessel. I'm trying to stick them on the sides to help with stability and to stop any breakages. Uh, but I'm not sure how successful I was at that and we shall see when we fire it whether all the pieces stay connected to the pot. So wish me luck. finally time to actually do some printing and printmaking. After gathering all the equipment, I'm inking up my lino cut. Now this is the moment of truth. Did I do a good enough job with my cut and my inking? I am pretty happy with that result. This week in drawing, we're looking at tonal values and how to create different types of shading using hatching, cross hatching and stippling. From those techniques, we're going to create a still life. We're using various, frankly, quite scary objects found in the studio. This is an A2 piece where we're placing some of the random objects across the paper just to give some different toning and depth and seeing what we can come up with. it looks pretty random but drawing's not my strong suit so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out even though it might actually give me nightmares. Last class of the week is painting. We chose some color tones from one of our chromatical gray charts and I went with bright pink my favorite color. Just to keep it in creepy theme today's subject is a skull although I tried to make mine a little less nightmarish by making it pink. School's over for another week, but as you can see, I'm really feeling like I'm getting in the swing of things. So thanks for coming along and I hope to see you next week.